Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics and this is just a cool California El Camino. And in this video, I'm going to take you around this truck. I'm going to take you under this truck, but right now, buckle up because I'm going to take you for a ride in this truck. I just got a little chirp out of the uh, the first shift. I don't know if you caught that. This thing's got plenty of power. We're hauling along, we're about 50, 55. And now we're just taking off, boom, boom, boom. Almost 70 miles an hour. That's pretty cool. Lots of power. Gets along pretty good. It's got working wipers. It's got some gauges down below. And uh, it's got a working heater. The radio does not work. Definitely plenty of power getting down the road. It's got a great sound to it also. All right, so there we go. Hey, if you have any questions, you can give me a call. My information's down in the description box below. Uh, you can, uh, if you're seeing this on a third party site, you might wanna go over to my website, Left Coast Classics, opposite of right, left, not my politics, just my location. And uh, anyway, there'll be a secondary slideshow area with like another few hundred pictures or a couple hundred pictures. Uh, be sure to check us out on Wheeler Dealers, three cool episodes. Uh, in 2013, we did this 1957 Ford Thunderbird. That was back in the Ed China days. Our second episode was uh, 2018. Mike came over to buy a, a weird Rover 3500S P6 sedan, ended up leaving with a cool 1972 Lancia Fulvia. And then our latest episode was a really interesting one also. It was, uh, we filmed it last August and it, it aired on Motor Trend December, 2020. And that was uh, a really cool one owner Triumph TR4. So check those episodes out. If you got any questions, give me a call. And thanks again for checking out this cool 71 El Camino. Let's head under the El Camino. It's just quintessential rust-free California undercarriage. Very nice under here, clean.
back here it looks like here's the thing it looks like we got air shocks really nice heavy duty air shocks but i can't find where the air goes in i guess i'll have to look for that there's an oil cooler back here that's not hooked up i really just don't know what that was all about so there's that it's got really nice inner quarters as you can see here it's got a tow package so that's nicely set up if you want to pull something and you can see it's nice and clean in there and there's 12 bolts on that have not checked to see if it's a posi i don't know we'll take a look at that nice big beefy exhaust system really nice inner rockers and floors very very nice and i'll just cut over here and show you got front disc brakes and we'll come back and show you these rockers and frame over here also super solid and nice through and through anyway nicely set up and in really good shape